Hey, Shalom, Makium, Siyah Bataza, coming back with another video. Want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth, striving for the whole full leg, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Alright, I just want to read here in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, verse 11 all the way down. Um, and just uh, speak about, you know, continue, continue in the videos or the lessons and exhortations and admonishments that I've been harping on for a couple of weeks now regarding... Uh, you know, brotherly love, uh, fellowship, things of that nature, and edification, and what it means to be on the highways and the byways. Um, so I just want to jump off with First Thessalonians 5 and 11. It says, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you, you do. Okay, which that's what we're doing. So it's a it's a continuous thing that we have to continue making videos, um, which are e electronic epistles, you know, to encourage brothers that are in need, um, you know, going to the spirit to help certain brothers out there, you know, to encourage them to to lift themselves up, to know that they're not alone, that there's other brothers that are in this cause, and have faith. In our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, man. You know, because the scriptures say that we have, we're supposed to uh, search out those that are like-minded. You know, at one time, you know, uh, I was all by myself, man. You know, I kept hearing the Spirit telling me to go out and do the work, and then, as I said, I, I fell across the brothers. You know, um, at the time, their YouTube channel was called Man of Jacob over there in Dallas, the Brothers of Dallas Camp. And once I saw that, I was I was uh, amazed, man. You know, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. Now you got brothers everywhere. You know, so it says in verse twelve, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. And are over you in Yahweh Shai and admonish you, right? See, to admonish, we have to admonish, exhort each other as we see the day approaching, you know, to continue in the faith, you know, fight for the faith, endure all afflictions, in and out of season, preaching the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, hasten the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, lifting up our heads when we see the days getting closer, man. The signs that are uh, coming to pass. The prophecies that are being fulfilled. You know. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Edifying and comforting one another when we, we hear and see these things. You know. Relaying the messages one to, one to another. But it says to know them that labor among you. All right. And as I as, as I said in, in many other videos, you got a lot of brothers out there, man. You know what I'm saying that uh, deserve that double honor as well. All right, you got you got brothers that are laboring this truth, that are uh, that are under that same that same command as as of double honors, man. Respect, you know. And in the same time, on that same token, those brothers humble themselves greatly before men, to the least, to the greatest. That's what's going to make you greater. The more, the greater they are, the more humble you are, man. All right. So all those brothers that are laboring, man. All right. You are to be esteemed very highly because of the love you bestow unto unto the elect for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. As, it, as, it, as it's going to say here in verse 13 And to esteem them very highly in love 
for their work's sake. What is the work? It's our father's business. So that is 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 of is a is a is of praise. You know, throughout the, all the years that I've been in this thing, you know, we, I've heard many times, you know, uh, brothers um, talk about how you know not getting uh you know big headed, you know, or uh, it takes it takes experience and time to know that. Um, where credit is due is due, you know what I'm saying? Honor is when where honor is due is due. And you have to basically just let it die with you, you know what I'm saying? You don't let it lift you up to where it becomes proud pride. Because the scriptures talk about that, that you know, to receive a you know, basically roughly paraphrasing, I know it's in the book of Sarag, to receive honor, you know, could be to, to your destruction. You know? But the the brothers that are laboring out there yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are doing something that not not many people can do, and we know that. There's not many people can do what we, what we're doing out out there, man. Okay, you got a lot of guys that come in. They come in on fire, you know what I'm saying? Just, but they end up falling out. You know, brothers honoring these certain men. Not, not, not considering the time, you know. Not considering, um, you know, it's not, not, not being considerate. I've seen a lot of guys that have been on fire in this thing, and they end up falling out, and end up uh, um, causing division amongst brethren or fighting amongst the 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 body. But those men were highly esteemed. But you got all these other brothers that are uh, of a lowly spirit, quiet spirit, the things that uh, you would consider feeble. But those are the, the greater things that Yahweh watched me I wish I had spoken of to Paul in the, in the, in the book of uh, Corinthians, man. When it goes, when you go into reading about the body, you know, I forget what chapter it's in, but brothers should know what I'm talking about. All right. It says in verse 14, now we exhort you. See, we have to admonish and exhort one another as we see the day approaching. Now we um, exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. You know, they're just, they're out of uh, order. They're not, uh, they're not in the right spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it means to be unruly. Comfort the feeble-minded. See, you gotta take care of the younger brothers, man. Or even if a brother's been in there for 10, 15 years, that you don't know that brother can be going through things, man. That brother has to be uh, comforted. You know, that brother has to be comforted. Even a king, you know, a, a, a king in the flesh can get weak minded but that doesn't make that doesn't mean that he's not worthy of being a king or a leader he's still human and he still has to be comforted so it's not always just regarding brothers that have been in this thing for a year two years three years it can go all the way up to to the elders man we're still in the flesh so it says comfort the weak the feeble minded all right support the weak be patient toward all men Look up that word feeble minded. Alright. That's why when you go into certain scriptures, man, it talks about uh you know a father or mother in, in their old age, not to despise them, you know, etc. So the word feeble minded is the outline of biblical usage to be faint hearted. So it's weak minded. Oh wait, alright, you get you can get weak in the mind, man have your, your dry spells you'll have you know heavy temptations or you should, we're still in the flesh man even Yahweh shy and, and when he was in the flesh what happened to him you can't you can't we can't forget the uh the example or the steps that Yahweh or Yahweh shy had, had walked and lived man and what he went through and he how he had to endure the cross being crucified 
before and in the during it and after you know so that's what it means to be feeble-minded it says comfort the feeble-minded support the weak be patient toward all men see that none render evil for evil unto any man but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men you know that's why it says uh work it uh love work no ill towards his neighbor you know that applies to everybody but primarily um we have to support the body the, the elect the brotherhood you see what i'm saying rejoice evermore pray without ceasing and everything give thanks for this is the will of the most high yahweh shamashiach concerning you that's right we have to be thankful amongst brothers man you know be thankful amongst brothers and it's it, the scriptures say love um regarding a brother um let me uh bring it up i know it's in first john all right first john uh first john chapter 3 verse 18 my little let me bring it up John 3 and 16 hereby perceive we the love of the most high because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren but whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brethren his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him how dwelleth the love of the most high in him my little children let us not love in word neither in tongue but in deed and in truth you see that so, uh, just like Yahweh Shai said, they show much love with their lips, and they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Their mind ain't on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That applies to a so-called brother. You know, his mind ain't on the brotherhood, the body, the elect, the Lord's business. You know, he's about himself. It's like he, he could have a brother with him, but there's nothing there. You know what I'm saying? And the brothers that, that are experienced, they, they understand what I'm talking about. Brothers that have experience, they know what I'm talking about. You know? But in due time, you know, every, you leave things in the most high's hands. The most high will work things out. He'll, he'll, a brother, you bro, a brother don't have to go and, uh, really jump on in another man or as far as like to, to, to rebuke him in his face and call him out or nothing like that the most high will leave, leave it in the most high's hands and the most high working out he's always he always does has, does has done that you know but in the meantime if you're of a sincere if you're a sincere brother and you come, come you care for the feeble minded you care for it you care to edify to admonish to exhort to warn brethren to, to pray with pray without ceasing you know uh, uh you care you know you, you you love the flock like how as 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 peter lovest thou me and he said thou knowest and yahweh i said feed my flock three times he asked him you know so as, as the scriptures say in first john 3 and 18 my little children love not let us not love in word neither in tongue but in indeed and in truth okay meaning with a sincere heart without oh uh, unfeigned love man all right and and, and how, how 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 is the how do we show love by not breaking the commandments you know love working no ill towards his neighbor what is the love of the most high the lost that's the commandments okay And go back. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse nineteen: Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very 
power of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, uh, I pray, Yahweh, I pray, Yahweh, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach, that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach, be with you. Amen. Or Tawab, all right? Or Tawab. So, this is like 1 Thessalonians 5, 11, all the way down. Is, is instructions on how to deal with the body, man. The laborers. What each brother should be doing for, for, for each brother, man. You know? And how we're, we are to look towards one another. How we are to acknowledge one another. Not doing all this, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not trying to cuss. Not doing all this favoritism thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do in the world, man. When we're, we're in the body of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know? And that's the one thing I've always saw and I, I still continue to see it to this very day. All right? And it's something that um, each and every brother would have to work on. You know? But until then, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the instructions are here for us paved out. And we can't lie against the truth, you know? We can't lie against the truth, you know? You gotta uh continue to push hard with this with this in this in the spirit, man. You know? Right here, this is a perfect little uh uh precepts to go into how dealing, you know, brothers should deal with one another. You know? Like in verse 25, it goes straight up. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all brethren with a holy kiss. All right? And it's a charge. It's a command. I charge you by the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. All right? Got to highly esteem one another, man. You know? What does that mean? You put the brother before you. All right. So with that, hope it was edifying.